go to the record store tomorrow and pick that up and just like do nothing but listen to it and maybe cry tears of joy before I have to go to work until I have to go to work. Do you guys know that Rudy Gobert plays for the Timberwolves? <laughs> he not only he plays butt off is what he does. He has to make up for a lot of mistakes defensively. Yeah. He has to play for Cat a lot. Anywho, shall we get this thing started? I suppose. All right. Hello and welcome to this thing we call Minnesota Foul Play-By-Play. I'm your host, Anthony Variano, and I'm joined today by our attorney on retainer, Michael Haas. And it must be a special edition of Minnesota Foul Play-By-Play because my favorite cousin and NBA 2K expert, Joel Variano, is on the show for our annual Cat Trade Deadline Show, baby. Yeah! How you doing, Joel? I'm doing fantastic. How about you? Oh, I, you know, I'm a little bit better after the 62-point loss, the, the shenanigans. Yeah. I know you were taking it tough. <laughs> I took it so tough, I spent like six hours trying to research how they played that bad of defense, and mm-hmm. I still have no answer for you. I, I, <laughs> the only answer I have for them, their lineup against uh, small lineups is the only way your defense is going to be okay is – if you don't give the other team more possessions, like Mm -hmm. you're so bad defensively against small lineups, it's better for them not to have the ball. (laughs) So like, you're going to give up a high percentage of shooting. Just don't give them extra possessions Mm -hmm. and you can win that game. Like uh, I did so much stupid math and searched so many stuff. Oh yeah. All your turnover stuff. Oh, seven (laughs) goddamn turnovers, 35 shots, seven turnovers. If he has Mm -hmm. goddamn three, he spreads 10 around. You only have to hit 40% of them and you can still win the game. (laughs) It's just wild and crazy, but you're here for one reason and one reason only. Scratching at the screen door. Can you help? Scratching at the screen door. Little bag of bones been out all night. He needs some petting and loving on his head. He needs some petting and loving on his rain soaked high. He's circling around my ankle. He's circling around my ankle. He needs some petting and loving on his head. Kitty, won't you come inside? Kitty, I'm a foot and I won't touch it. Kitty, I'm a foot and I won't touch it. Kitty, I'm a foot and I won't touch it. Kitty, I'm a foot and I won't touch it. Kitty, I'm a foot and I won't touch it. Kitty, I'm a foot and I won't touch it. Kitty, I'm a foot and I won't touch it. Kitty, I'm a foot and I won't touch it. So is that for cats? Is that for cats? Yeah. It's our second annual cat trade deadline show, baby. We are starting traditions on this show now. It, every year, Joel stops by and gives us about a full fucking page of trades for Carl Anthony Towns to go somewhere Well, this else. would this would be the first annual. Last year, it was just trades in general. We, we, talk, we talked about trading cat on this show. This is the second annual cat trade deadline show. We're not going to go back in time and make sure that's correct or not. Yeah. This is how this works, though. Now, every time we're we're watching the game currently, they're uh, down by three to Brooklyn. All right, so Joel's hey, going to start on the list. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Brooklyn's on the list. Everybody's on the list. Uh, Joel's going to start giving us actual Minnesota NBA trades that could happen before the trade deadline. And then when Carl Anthony Towns does Carl Anthony Towns things during the game, we're going to interrupt him by going, meow. And he's going to have to give us a new Carl Anthony Towns trade every time Carl does something. And then, you know, we'll interrupt you every time we interrupt you with meow. You got to go to another trade. All right. Got it. Okay. Here are the well, cat things. Let me explain what the cat things are. Arms up for asking a foul or asking for a foul. This number here. 
uh, fouling, palms up after being called for a foul. Uh, <laughs> reaching out of bounds for a ball off the rim to pad his rebound stats. I love that one. God, I hope it happened. <laughs> Shooting contested shots, unless he makes them. <laughs> Falling down behind the play. Turnovers. That out-of-control dribble drive move of his. And uh, being pushed out onto his defensive assignment by Rudy. That's my favorite thing in the world. Okay, so he's on the floor. Joel, give us your first Minnesota Timberwolves possible trade. Hold, hold on. I just want to say to the viewers out there, oh. I don't think most of these will work. Uh, okay. This was just matching the money together. Like, okay. that's, that's all I was doing. I'll tell you what my favorite ones are, but okay. a lot of these were just, hey, I put in Cat and I put on Mil Milton and... If I could find money that would reach it, I, this was just for shits and giggles. Got it. And but, okay, also, I'll start... I want to let me preface this also by saying, I there's no one I'm rooting for more than Carl Anthony Towns. Like, the, if this team, as constructed right now, wins a championship, the joy that I feel as a result uh, is unparalleled. Right? It would. Mm -hmm. I mean. I imagine it's got to be even it would not only make me believe in God, but I would probably see God like like mm -hmm. you do when you do ayahuasca. You know, they say you see God. That's how much joy I would feel if this team in particular won a chance. It's been 32 years since we played in a championship game in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Can I quick comment yeah. on one thing on something Joel said? It's, it's bothered me in the past. Shits and giggles. Like, who giggles when they shit? It's like, that would <laughs> fucking fuck up the whole process. That is like, a really good <laughs> observation, yeah. I mean, sometimes anyway. I do. If it makes a funny sound, yeah, I do. Yeah. When I, <laughs> yeah. Fucking fuck up, like, you push me, okay. you know? Cause you're no, the best anyway. giggle is in Dumb and Dumber when Harry's shitting his brains out oh, and the last that's... little part at the end, if he giggles. That, that's that <laughs> shit's a giggle. <laughs> that is the perfect, yes, perfect example. example, yeah. Um, right. my, my take on Carl Anthony Towns, though, I know I know you always say trade him and all this stuff. I think he would be a great third person on a team that could hide him defensively. Right. Like, I think he's an offensive star. He's just not a star anywhere else. Yeah. I, I, I like to call him the big and, version of James Harden. Sure. And we've but, got a lot of that on this team. We've got a lot of guys who can play one side, but not the other side so well. And that's probably well, and, and And it still, too, is he's – Playing the four when he's a five, two. But he's not a five a against. Circle and a square. He's not a five against certain fives. He struggles against mm -hmm. physical fives. So. Yeah, yeah. But and he shoots the three well enough to play the four. He just can't defend yeah. there that well. So yeah. Okay. You want me to start this off? Yeah, start Minnesota right Timberwolves top? trades. Yeah, the ones that you okay. think will help us the most. We're, we're looking for a backup point guard. Is what we're looking well, for, right? Well, yeah, mostly yeah, or any bench help too. Yeah. I mean, right. Any any position where or where they could take the four spot because we're trading cats. So we need to fill that spot, which I just said before we started that I think uh, Jaden's going to be our new four. If he ever just bolts up, uh -huh. but okay, I'll start it off. I'm going to just rattle off trades. Got it. Okay. First one, 76ers. Here. Yeah. To buy Harris, a power forward, expiring contract this year, Pat Bev. We used to have him on our team yeah. and whatever picks we could get for Carl Anthony towns, Right? Hey, hey, no. I said, no, no, no. Start with the actual Minnesota twin, uh, Timberwolves trades. The ones that mean? could happen. The ones for oh, backup the ones point that, guards. Yes, yes. The ones not, that could happen. Yes, or, not the Carl there's, trades. There's, yeah. Oh, that could happen. I don't know any of that could happen. Oh, well, the mean, ones on the bottom. No. Tyus oh, Jones. If we, we stand pat, you mean on the bottom? Right, that yeah. I put on the bottom? Yes. Well, there's not many people we could get. It wouldn't be for Carl Anthony Towns. The ones I said, players I trade for if we stand pat would be uh, Bahawks, Patty Mills. I don't okay. have any trades written up, but it'd mostly be like Shake or uh, Troy Brown I'd throw in. Right. To equal their money. But Patty Mills, I mean, he's 35, but he's veteran point guard, can hit open three. Uh, Bulls, uh, uh, Javon Carter, good defending point guard. Uh, I wouldn't mind him. Dream one would be TJ McConnell from the Pacers. I really? mentioned this guy last year at the trade deadline. Remember, I said Prince for McConnell, and you're, and we never ever did it. And then here we get for the Prince, and fucking don't right. have this guy. But I don't see the Pacers giving him up. I just put him on there because it'd be a dream to have him on our team. I think he'd be well. Then they lose backup Halliburton for uh, a significant amount of time. 
I'm not sure if he's out for a significant amount. I, I don't okay. know about that one. All and right. then uh, the Pistons, Alex Burke, they say they want to keep some of their veterans, but Alex Burke would be a great fit. He could play the one, two, or three off the bench. I, if we could trade for him, that'd be great. Um, this one I put on Victor Oladipo. He hasn't played much this year. I don't even think he played any. I think he's been hurt. But yeah, yeah. if we could package if we could package Troy Brown and Milton for him, we open up a roster spot. And if he does happen to come healthy, yeah. he's a better he's a better player than them. Yeah. Okay. Chat just got pushed to his defensive assignment. It wasn't by Rudy, but it was by uh, Nas. So give us a car on okay. the Towns trade. Okay, like that, like I was saying, the first one was 76ers. Tobai Harris, power forward, who has an expiring contract, and Pat Bev, who's on expiring contract too, and then whatever picks we could get for Carl Anthony Towns and Milton. And I don't really like that trade, but Tobai Harris fills the four, and we get a backup point guard. That's the only thing I put in there. I mean, I hopefully we can get like two first rounders at least, but I, I don't well, like that one. If it's one that chance, makes the money work as well, it, which we're yeah, going to have to do. What's that? Yeah, and um, Cat's going to make fucking lot next year, like forty yeah, mil, five wins. mil, forty-seven mil. All right, well, what is going on the Cats? No, he just did something good. Got to go back. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't have many more. Um, Keep going. Okay, Victor Oladipo. Like I said. Um, we could do a two for one and then open up a roster spot for the buyout market or anybody in the G league. We might want to try to bring up on the team. Well, that's interesting. So that's, that's one I, if he, and if he becomes healthy, I think he's a better option than Milton or Brown. So, and then I can't say this guy's name. He's from Oklahoma city. Oklahoma uh, city ain't trading nobody. They're, they're terrific. Well, no, well, this guy is a rookie. He's like 27. He's an older rookie, a foreigner, uh, uh, mimic or no! something like that. Oh, Jesus. He just Christ. did his dribble drive move. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Bucks. Chris Middleton and Pat Connaughton um, for Cat and Milton. I don't see this one happening either, but the money worked. And uh, I always said with uh, Cat, it would be uh, great to have a defensive power forward next to him. And there's not many better than Giannis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for, for the Bucks. For the yeah. Bucks, they'd be giving up a staple in Chris Middleton and a good backup uh, shooting guard in Pat Conahan. Mm, Chris Middleton, but um, but if we add Cat to that team, that would make them move Brook Lopez, which could fill out the rest of the roster in the starting lineup at the three or the two. Yeah, but Who's Milwaukee, a hell of a even, player. Now we don't even know if Milwaukee can defend. I mean, we think we they're better yeah. than the twenty second ranked well, defense, but well, it's because Dame's on their team, and now yeah. now you're getting Cat too. So that's why I'm saying if you could move Brooke for some defensive pieces, because Brooks, I mean, a hell of a center, still one of the few centers that could play in the post, uh, can hit the three and can block shots. I mean, can rebound. All right, but who he's else? Just getting, he's getting old. Another else, one? Now, who else in the league do you like if we were to uh, stand pat as depth? I, I want to oh. talk about Tyus Jones. Let's talk about Tyus Jones. Well, if, well, no, no, that's on a different trade. Hold on. Because um, we're not going to get him without trading anything substantial that i wouldn't yeah that i would trade for him. it'd have to be carl anthony towns which i'll do that one but let me finish off the ones that i have on here i okay. do have two players from the wizards uh delon wright another point guard more of a defensive point guard than a playmaker but be better than shake milton yeah right. and then i have uh Lan or landry uh shamit who yeah. i've always liked uh he's more of a shooting guard combo guard can hit the three but i mean we could use that on the bench and then I have one more player on that stand pat, and it would be the Warriors, Gary Payton Jr. He could he can defend, but I think he's still hurt, so I don't know. These are just players I put on to look out for. If, if they're healthy, that'd be great, but it, it it would pretty much be for either Shake or Troy Brown. Well, what are some trades throughout the league you might see happening in the next few days? Well, I didn't even really. Uh, I mean, if I'm Portland, I'm trying to trade. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon and Grant. Right. I'm trying to sell those off. Even and Brogdon's Aton. not Aton somebody. Sucks. We can't get Brogdon with what we've got to offer either. Right? I, you know, on my list, I don't have anything for the Blazers because I couldn't come up with any other money. I mean, I, I easily probably could have, but it's just the players that we'd get, I don't think I'd want or pay them. Yeah. With with Malcolm Brogdon, we'd have to take on. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't do a trade for those ones. Blazers, Blazers, I have nothing. The Warriors, I have nothing. The Mavs, I have nothing. Um, the Spurs, the Suns, the Lakers, 
the Pacers, the Nuggets, the uh, Hornets, and the Cavs, Boston, and Clippers. I don't have any trades for them. Because why would Boston? Meow. Why would Boston fucked up their team? Meow. Another dribble drive. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next one would be the Bulls. And okay. I started. I started with it. I said I wouldn't want a fucking thing. And then I looked at it again. I go. Well, I guess I wouldn't mind DeMar DeRozan's expiring contract uh-huh. and Alex Caruso, who's a hell of a defender. I do like as our backup. Caruso. Yeah. And then I would try to get picks, but it'd be for Cat and Milton. Cat would be their best player if we sent him to the Bulls. And Del Rosen, I mean, he's he's lost a step. He's older, but he's still a really good bid range. Um, I mean, you've seen his playmaking go up when he played for the Spurs. He's he's still still not too bad at playmaking. With this trade, this would slide Jaden to the four, like I was saying. Right. I, I would put Jaden at the four, Demar at the three, and have Alex Gruss off the bench, and we. I try to get picks from him. Jaden just and, hasn't hasn't panned out offensively at all, though. And he's well, actually he hasn't been worse defensively this year. Well, the thing with offense is he just doesn't get the touches. I mean, his touches are very similar. I think right. he scored twelve points last year. He's on eleven points this year. Right. On, on very similar touches. His, his three point shooting is like. I think one point down, I think he's 37%. And he's still shooting over 50 on twos. So, I mean, if they're not going to give him the chance, he's, yeah. I, I would love to see him as a 20-point score. I don't ever but, see that happening. Oh, the well, effort, he's the not effort getting, requires the, to play the that thing is, The thing is, he doesn't get that opportunity because Cat takes those touches away from him. That's yeah. why we should move him. He should be our number two. Too, if if we if if he could score, I mean, we're not going to ever see it if Cat's on the team. The next one, I got the Grizzlies, and this is one I kind of did not mind, but um, a, two of the three players we get from are injured right now. Oh and, uh, golly, Cat just did something good. Who else can we get? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have anybody else. I already nobody shot else. Out that list. So you're saying this team can actually win a championship? This team, no. No? Whoa, why not? You, you lost the, the faith? Uh, with Cat on the team, it's just, like I said, he's like our big James Harden. Yeah. James Harden has not the got Clippers it The Clippers look pretty damn good, though, with James Harden. Yeah, so. I, I have to give him his props these last two years because he's been more of a playmaker, but he, he's a liability on defense, and that's what Cat is. Yeah. But he's a hell of a playmaker still. He's a He can score, but... He's he's third fiddle to Paul George and Kawhi Leonard on that team. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He and that's where, like I just said, Cat would be a perfect third guy on a championship team. We have him as our second guy on our team, so that's why I don't see this shit happening unless Although, something drastic happens. I mean, if they figure out how to not be the second, uh, have the second most turnovers in the league. Like that, I was just going to say, is. if we figured out how to stop turning the ball over, we'd, yeah. we'd have a chance in most games. But It seems like a, that's just their play style. We talked about every, it before. Every game is going to be a grind then. They don't yeah. turn the ball over and play great defense. It's going to still be close, but we've we've won most of those this year. Right. That's but, been the difference. Yeah. Okay, but so can I guess somebody, oh, somebody ahead, who go doesn't go follow uh, basketball literally at all, <laughs> why doesn't he just play better defense? At, that's the, I, he can't. He's incapable. <laughs> he's got cement shoes for feet. He's yeah, I was just going to say the footed. exact same thing. Yeah, cement shoes, and it's just the effort's not there. He doesn't no. even move when the ball's out of his hand on offense. He doesn't even no. move to help his players out. It's he did just, just that's make something... a backdoor cut a couple minutes ago. I was wow, that's by, fucking shocking. Yeah, I know. But he was following it... the ball in, and yeah, got a nice little mm-hmm. dunk or mm-hmm. layup. But yeah, if, if you just move. Maybe right. he'd shed some weight and be a little bit quicker to cover some defensive assignments. I mean, just move. Yeah. I got a trade but, pitch. Okay. Okay. City to city. Minnesota gives up Cat to Miami. We get Luis, Luis Arise back, and we get Jesus Lazardo. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Mikey! Yeah, okay. Joel, trade. Joel actually has a Miami trade. That's got to be the place we're going to watch if it could happen. Well, oh, you want to hear my? Oh yeah, week. we got to hear this one. Well, geez, can I get the other ones done? Okay, before I go. Get oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> God, sorry. Damn it! It was you a good segue. Like we were done. I'm on Grizzlies. <laughs> I'm on Grizzlies. Then it's the Hawks. 
and then it's the heat. So just <laughs> slow the fuck down, all right? <laughs> so, okay, the Grizzlies. I, I told you, I, I just did this for shits and gigs last night because Tony always bugs me about what cat trades can we do. Yeah. It's, most the, of funnest, these, it's the funnest show of the year, Joel. <laughs> most of these won't work. I, I have to say this to the audience. They're probably listening like, yeah, this, this, that's why we these trades are stupid. NBA 2K experts. 2K experts. Thanks, yes. thanks. <laughs> yeah. They're stupid as fuck. But yeah. okay, this is one I don't mind, but two of the guys are injured right now. But for our team in the future, it wouldn't be bad. But the Grizzlies, they have Marcus Smart. We, we'd get a point guard. Great defensive player. Stouty, stouty point guard. We get Luke Kennard, who is a hell of a three point shooter, Great but he's shooter. not expiring. Expiring contract, I Dookie, think like baby. 14, 15 mil, I think, would be coming off our books, unless we bring him back. And then uh, Brandon Clark, who has just been with the injury bug his whole career, but he's a hell of an athlete, hell of a defender, and we could put him in at the four. He could throw down dunks, I mean, and then whatever picks we could get, and we would send Carl Anthony Towns, Milton, and Troy Brown. And I just think of it, the only bad part about it is then um, the Grizzlies have a big four. I mean, they'd have John Morant, Brand, um, or I mean, Bain, um, Jaron Jackson Jr. and Cat. All they'd have to do is figure out the three spot, and they'd have a fucking. That's small a dangerous team. That's I a, know. I don't want to play that. No. Yeah, well, but that's see, some of these trades is like we're helping out the team, but it's yeah. just like it, it'd be getting Cat off, and then I mean, Marcus Smart, I wouldn't be a bad pickup, and then like I said, if Clark is healthy, I've always liked him. He's he's a hell of an athlete. And then Luke Kennard, and then I, I would try to get picks in the deal too. But yeah, we do need a lot of picks. Okay, and then I'll go to Hawks quick. This is my favorite one. This is the one that I would want to happen. Okay, Jelante Murray. I mentioned this the last time I was on the show. He's a point guard, six four, seven one wingspan. They've been trying to trade this guy, but he makes like eighteen mil. So you have to come up with money. So I put on Clint Calapia, their starting center. And I would send him to a third team, Oklahoma City Thunder, for uh, Davis Bertans. He's big, seventeen mil. He's pretty much a bum. He sh- hit open threes for the Spurs. A seventeen then, million dollar bum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here, this is what happened. The, the, yeah, exactly. the dumbass, the dumbass Wizards paid him seventeen fucking mil a year for like over four years. Like, our, our, he gets 17 That's not mil. dumbass by the Wizards. The Wizards are required to spend a certain amount of money. So they got well, no, to they, they it was it, it was a stupid contract. But but we would take him on because I think his deal expires. I'm not 100% sure. And I would want picks back. I would want a first back and because we're sending Clint Flappia there. And uh, I, I would even try to get the, to send a pick to the Hawks for Clint Flappia. And we would get Murray, they'd get Clapia, we'd get this Davis Bertans, and we would send Cat and Milton to the Hawks. And the thing is with the Hawks is Trey Young sucks defensively, Cat yeah. sucks defensively, so they'd have to, their two through three would have to be studs defensively to make that work. But I would love Murray on this team. That, that That's my favorite one. I'd even add on whatever picks we got. I mean, I don't think we have many first, but any second rounders, I, I would try to make this worth as much as possible. That that would be my favorite trade. Okay, well give I us out. give us our favorite now. Send in send him. Okay, to now Jimmy it's Butler. the heat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, this one would probably have to be closer to the deadline because they just traded for this guy. But Terry Rozier, yeah, he would be a point guard. They just traded for him. I think it's a hell of a pickup for the Heat. Don't get me wrong. He can't play but defense. Though. I wouldn't. Who? Terry Rozier. Rozier? Yeah. Terry Terry. Yeah, he used to be known for defense. Well, yeah, they well, just have him playing the two. Won. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that heat culture is going to fucking knock it back into him. <laughs> um, but um, I wouldn't want Tyler Hero. So we'd have he to He don't play Hero's defense here. either. Yeah, I would. I, they're stupid fucks for paying him max money for a fucking, at best, six man. I mean, yeah, he sure could fill in at the starting lineup, but he's a six man. They jumped the gun. Same with... Uh, the Warriors with Poole. Jordan Poole, they jumped the gun, paid him 30 yeah. mil. Not fucking worth it. But it'd be Terry Rozier, and then I'd want their rookie. Their uh, Jamie Jack Jr. Jaime Marquez Jr. Yes, yeah. that's my guy. Yes. Everybody I, loves that guy. He's he's in the rookie of the year race. I'd say he's third behind Chet and uh, Wemby. He's the newest he's just, guy. Look, he's the guy who looks most like a pirate now in the NBA. 
Yeah. <laughs> like it used to be uh, that Adams character, and now it's now it's him. Yeah, uh, Stephen Adams. Yeah, he looks like a pirate. Steven. Well, Stephen Adams is still in the league, but yeah. And then we'd have to take Duncan Robbins' shit contract. I think he makes eighteen mil a year for three years, but he could still hit open three. And then I'd want Nikola Jokic, or not Jokic, or Dovic. They're they're power forward. They drafted two years ago. Oh. And then it would be Cat, Milton, I'd Troy like Brown, Nikola and Wendell Jokic Moore. Too. No, no, no. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I <laughs> who doesn't want it's that? So, guy. It's so close. Yeah. Yeah. But but it'd be it'd be for Cat, Milton, and Troy Brown, and Wendell Moore Jr., who's still on his rookie deal. I think I think the Heat could get the most out of Milton and Brown. I think with Milton, it's. A change of scenery would probably do him good, and then we could bring somebody in too. It just it just hasn't worked. I mean, he could hit a three, but it's just not working this year for him for us. So that's why he's in most of these trades. But with that, he would be slotted next to Bam, which he'd probably still have to play the four. But Bam could cover the perimeter better than Gobert does, yeah, and block shots. I mean, he's yeah. a hell of a defensive center, and you just give him the harder front court assignment every single game. And then you have Tyler Hero. You still have Jimmy Butler. But I, I like that trade for, I mean, if anybody's going to get the most out of Cat, I think it would be the Heat. Yeah. I think they would knock some of that shit like, hey, you got to move. You got to do this. But they need three-point shooting. Cat's fucking best three-point shooting big out there. The second best is Nas. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fucking nuts? So the two I best know. three point shooting bigs is our guys. I know. But yeah, that that would be that trade. But scary Terry wouldn't be bad, and then that rookie, which again, with that uh how do you say his name again? Jaime Jamie. Jaquez oh. Jr. Jaime. Okay. Jaime, okay. <laughs> but but hey, put him in at the three and put Jaden at the four, like we said. I mean I or even that uh Nikola uh Jok Jokic or Jov Jovich. He he's been starting for him right now, but we get two young guys. We get Terry Rozier as a point guard. I mean, I didn't think that was too bad of a deal. I don't see it happening again, but but yeah, <laughs> that that would be the heat trade. <laughs> you want right. me to keep going? Yeah, or do I keep have going. to take a break? Okay, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll just take the whole fucking show. Don't worry. That's about what guys. you're here for. Hey, yeah. hey. Take a sip of water no. and let me do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> he ain't drinking okay. water, man. This is this is one I didn't mind either. Um, it'd be the Utah Jazz. Uh, get some of our picks back from him, maybe. But uh, Jordan Clarkson, a hell of a six man. He would, he could play the two or the uh, the one or the two off the bench, and then Kelly Olynyk and some picks for Cat and Wendell Moore. Send him to Utah. Kelly Olynyk. That would be the perfect replacement for Nas. Send him to Utah we, sounds <laughs> terrible. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's more like a play defense. Get to it's Utah. Like a Utah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, pretty much. But but yeah, then it would be. Um, I feel like I'm talking loud. Sorry, guys. Um, That's what we get, Kelly. Too, Joel. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so I can't help it. I shouldn't apologize. Yeah, but um, <laughs> Kelly Olynyk would take Nas's place and start Nas. I think Nas plays better at I everything agree. else besides scoring. Yeah, Cat Cat scores He's better than him. But... Still scoring wise, he'll have those yeah. down days. Yeah, but he rebounds better than Cat. He plays defense better than Cat. He well, he doesn't well, rebound better than Cat because Cat always gets at least one that's going out of bounds. Yeah, it doesn't really yeah. need to be grabbed. But yeah. <laughs> You you throw you throw him in and you have a perfect replacement with Kelly Olynyk as his backup and then we get some picks back. I I don't mind that trade. And then another one I like is the Knicks. Get Julius Randle. He is actual four. The, the, they say that um, the president of the Knicks loves Cat. He used to be his agent. Yeah. So it, it's always been a place that just makes sense. But it'd be Julius Randle and Mitch Robinson, which I didn't do the third team for this, but I would send Mitch Robinson Robinson their center to a third team and try to get some assets back. And uh, it would be for Cat and Milton. But I didn't mind that one. Julie, or Julius Randall's a four. Put him in there. He's playing pretty good as the second option for the Knicks. So I think it would be a fun swap there. Sorry, is anybody? I thought somebody stopped. Turnover. Meow. Okay. Next okay. one. <laughs> Ten minute warning. Here's, the, here's yeah. the other one. I even put, I kind of like it next to this one. Orlando Magic. They have so many goddamn contracts that they can just trade out. And they have one of the better defensive duos at the combo forwards in that Fran and Pablo. But 
I'd want their first round pick that they drafted this year, Anthony Black. He's a six eight point guard. His offense isn't there yet, but he would fit in well, I think, if it ever does develop. If not, I mean, playmaking defense would be great with, you know, Ant and Jaden. And then Jonathan Isaac is a player. I always said he would be the perfect player next to Carl Anthony Towns because he's a defensive system. He sh- his knees are shot. He has he plays like 10, 15 minutes a night. But uh, his, his contract's only partially guaranteed next year. I think he makes 17 mil, but I think only like 4 mil is guaranteed. So if it doesn't work out, who knows? Maybe more playing time on our team. I, I With this trade, I would slot Kyle into the four and he'd be his backup. And then Joe Ingles, a solid vet, just to make the money work. That's why he's on there. And then Wendell Carter Jr. He can hit the three. Yeah. Wendell Carter Jr. I'd have to put on there to make the money work. But I would send him to a third team. I didn't work out the third team for that one. But Wendell Carter is another one that just, he gets injured, but he's got a great contract. When he's healthy, he plays great. He's he's just a fun young big to watch. And so, he's a former Dukey, I mean, too. Yeah, he's a former Dukey, too. Yep. Him and... Bagley, I want to say we're yep. together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I would try to send him to a third team for more assets, and then I'd send Cat, Milton, Brown, or and then uh either more McLaugh or McLaughlin to make that one work. Yeah. One of the two. But yeah, I, Anthony Black, point guard of the future, and then whatever assets we get for Wendell Carter, and then just some salary fillers with Jonathan Isaac, but and Probably Joe does Ingles, have an but, expiring contract this year too. But then we, but then we put Kyle into the starting lineup, which he played a lot better when he was a starter than a reserve. I mean, his roles kind of switched now. They, we don't have a backup he, point guard. So he more, can't shoot it anymore at all. Well, 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 and I think a lot of his opportunities go to Nas. Yeah. And then when he was in the starting lineup, they needed that scoring, so he got a lot more opportunities when he was a starter. I don't think he has that opportunity. He's more of the playmaker of our second unit. I don't think he tries to take too many opportunities. All right, but, so let me but that let me, would okay. let me tell the viewers how this how this little game would play got, got together. I was at the PWHL Minnesota game last night, and I get <laughs> a call from Joel, and I'm just I look over at my neighbor who's at the game with me. He's like, "Oh God, my Joel wants Joel wants to talk uh, Timberwolves trades." <laughs> and uh, the next thing that comes through on my messages is a full notebook sheet of paper of. Carl Anthony Towns trades Mm -hmm. and I'm just like Mm -hmm. oh yeah now we're talking (laughs) with we got almost uh 32 minutes worth of content there (laughs) uh Carl didn't really uh cooperate which means he's playing pretty good basketball I think what's the Uh, score they're up 11 53 42 nice going guys look at us yeah. So his, they, his ears are burning. Oh fuck! I might get degraded. Joel's Joel's GMing right now. Hey, you know what? <laughs> and and uh, you know, Carl Anthony Towns, he's soft as baby shit. Is what Jimmy Butler said to him uh, after he left for Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. I just I got to say this. I I love Carl, and I'm rooting for him specifically because he he's gone through so much out here. Yeah. I mean. Anybody who says COVID was real rough on me, just think that Carlton Towns lost his mother and then seven other members of his family to COVID. Mm, yep. I don't think anyone out there has lost more to COVID than Carl Anthony Towns. So rooting for him, rooting for this team. I want to see God and that they can make it happen. Hope it happens. Yes, for sure. But there is an. I guess I'm a little more optimist than you. Yeah, there there is an actual championship caliber team here in Minnesota. It's PWHL Minnesota, the women's hockey team. You got to have bring Amelia out to uh, see them play because it's a fantastic show. Mm -hmm. Uh, They're they were atop the league. They're tied with Montreal, but Montreal is the tiebreaker now because they beat us last night at home. P- PWHL Montreal goaltender Elaine Chuli was standing on her head, 41 saves on 42 shots, uh, some of which I still can't believe, and some I don't even think made the stat sheet. Um, she beat us 4-3 uh, in overtime, the Whitecaps, uh, back into PW or PHF Isabel Cup last season, uh, and she's a former PHF goaltender of the year. So we found a rival. Like we've got a legitimate team that's going to be tough to beat in that league now. And uh, there's over 5,000 people in attendance, which is kind of what I thought it would settle at when, you know, after we had 13,000 in game one, I kind of said, okay, well, and that's, that's more than what was it? Richfield arena, uh, Richland, Richfield arena. And 
I think if they make the playoffs, it'll be right back up there into the, the full building uh, or 13,000 or so, the lower level, at least. Uh, energy environment is still great. Lots and lots of uh, girls teams in attendance. And uh, there's certainly a playoff team. And God, but Montreal, if you're going to look at a jersey, the PWHL Montreal jerseys are slick. They're cream and burgundy, and they just look real nice. So I'm a little jealous of that. They've got the nicest jersey, but they do have an incredible goaltender too. But we've got two of them, so I think we're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Mike. we got four minutes left in the show, which is a lot more than I think you're going to need. This is a new segment. I still got four fucking trades to go. You got four more (laughs) trades. Okay, well, let's get to the Twins update. This is Mike telling us what the – I was, I was going to try to do just the 13 fucking and a half seconds, which yeah. <laughs> that's about all you fucking need for offseason twins. That's work. how fast uh, it, that's how long it took Byron Bucks in the circle of the bases in the fastest uh, inside the park home run ever. 13.85 yeah. seconds. Uh, Minnesota Twins news. Um, they are not going to turn the stove on this year. It's just fucking <laughs> cold as shit. Never going to be a hot stove here in Minnesota. Um, that being said, Joe Maurer. Yeah, awesome week for Twins baseball. Um, he's a winner, and then, uh, <laughs> only fucking news, which is pathetic. Like every week uh, for Twins offseason news, we pick up the scraps from other teams. Uh, right. We just selected Bubba Thompson. You probably don't know who he is. Nope. You're an avid player of him. He'll be the show. <laughs> I always have him on my team because he's the fastest player in the game. Look at you guys. Like Video game player GMs. Yeah, he's got the fastest sprint speed in speed in the league. Uh, the really? Yankees couldn't, couldn't fit him on their forty man roster. They had snagged him from the Rangers. Where he so got he's drafted. the new Michael A. Taylor. I think that's what they're prepping prepping him for. Um, okay. He's dirt cheap. Um, he came out of the 2017 draft class with Royce Lewis. Um, actually, Lewis was 16. Um, Fast as shit, still got some minor league options so we can send him right. down to St. Paul to try to figure out his bat because his bat is atrocious. His hitting <laughs> numbers are 242 slash 286 on base percentage oh, slash, God. and then his slugging percentage is only 305. Oh, so he's, <laughs> he's not doing too well in the bat department. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that, is a, that is a pitch runner if I've ever seen one. That's pinch runner defensive, defensive replacement. Are good playoff though. edition. To, yeah, good playoff roster edition right there. Maybe he can lay down a sack butt. I bet he can. If I'm betting, and then Joel start pet basketball, if I'm looking at the Central this year, my money is on the Tigers to win the Central. What? A lot of people say they're not there yet. I think they are. We can talk about that on a different show. Two-minute warning. Okay. You want Joel, your Wizards trade? Yeah, give us oh. some more. You see me? No, give but it, it doesn't me. matter. Just give it to okay. us. Okay. Wizards. <laughs> I got two of them. That shit into my veins, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kuzma, or new power forward, and Tyus Jones, who you're like high Kuzma on and I'm high on. Yes, that's a trade I wanted to do. Yes. And then picks. I'd also want picks back for Cat and Milton. Or, I, or their rookie. It's the same two guys, and then their rookie, I can't say. Uh, they drafted him, I think, like ninth. But he's like a six eight shooting guard, small forward. It's like, hey, if we slide Jade into the four, um, we uh, we uh, there he um, is. put him in it at the three. But that's one trade I do. I can't say his fucking name. Okay, <laughs> and then, but those those are those are ones I don't mind too. Kuzma would be a nice addition, right? Uh, a little bit quicker on the perimeter than Cap can score the ball, and then Tyus would. Fix our backup point guard spot. I, you'd probably start. Back up. I would start. I I wouldn't. I wouldn't start him over Conley because I wouldn't want to ruin the chemistry with the other guys. I would. I would just cut Conley's minutes but down. But you and, could put him on the floor with Conley too. Yeah, with Con- Conley can hit the shots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then less than I minute. have three. Okay, uh, Oklahoma City, Lou Dort, uh, Wallace, Bertans, and whatever picks we can get for Carl Anthony Towns. Lou Dort Jordan absolutely Brown. torched us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jaden I- Ivy of the Pistons, uh, Bodon, Bodon Badanovich, Joe Harris for Cat, Milton, and Brown. That, that's one I don't mind, too. Uh, Jaden Ivy was the fifth pick last year, and he's like fall out of Monty Williams' rotation 30 seconds. early in the season. Next one. Okay. Whoa. Meow. Pelicans, Herb Jones, Larry Nance, uh, Valachunas for Cat, Meow. Warren, and Mac- Malaklin. Yeah. 
And then the Nets, Cam Johnson. Yeah. Spencer Didwitty. 